Okay, I am working on a handsaw project. It's a handsaw that I found here on my property after I moved in. So, you know, I'll give it a try and see what I can do as far as cleaning it up and getting it. I don't want to get aggressive with it either. I mean, I, I could take a grinder to it and do it that way or a sander. Um, I get the glare off of it, but it's pretty bad condition and it's it's got pitting right up in here uh, there you can see a little bit of it there but anyway this is our I've already soaked this in vinegar to clean it as much as I could to clean it up and use steel wool and there's also some heavy pitting right here on this end but uh, anyway I've gone through it with uh, vinegar and many pieces of steel wool and got fed up with that process because it, it, it kept throwing the steel wool all over the table all over the floor but anyway I found out a different method for removing all of this stuff and I want to show it to you but hang on let me get my camera set up and I'll go to work Okay, we're back. Let's go to work and see what we can do. Okay, and I, I'm not going to get into all this really heavy up here until, I mean, just for demonstration here to show you how this is working. I'm just going to work on like this area right here in front that's not real heavy and real bad. And again, I got tired of using steel wool and come up with another trick for polishing. But then I got to thinking that since the last time I did this. I was using just uh, transmission fluid the last time, but this time I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try just a little bit of uh, this cleaning vinegar. Oop, just a couple of drops here. And if vinegar seems to be too much of a mess, I'll go back to the, I was using transmission fluid before. But what I'm using here is a pencil eraser. Okay, and I was using it again with uh, transmission fluid, but it worked really well. But I'm going to try it here again and let the vinegar work on it some. But anyway, just a, you know, just work it in. And after a while, you'll start seeing the material remove. Just come right off of there. But don't work all in one area, just keep going. This looks like it's working pretty well. Yeah, again, just with a pencil eraser. And you don't want to go just one direction with it, uh, you know, like this. You want to switch it up. And also, a good thing about this pencil eraser, it works really well right down on the teeth. I mean, without I mean, steel wool, it would just be jagged and tearing up. But anyway, you can see that the vinegar is getting dirtier. If you just keep working it, like I said, different directions. You can go in circles with it. But you can feel the eraser hitting on the, on the rust and the material and, and cutting it off of there. And again, it's doing it real smooth. It's not going to leave any scratches in the, in the metal or in the blade. But I'm going to keep going at this for a little bit and then... Uh, I'll show you what it looks like, and if it doesn't work out too well, then I'll go back to using the transmission fluid like I was before. But I'll be back. I'm back. I don't know if it's going to show up in the video very well. That was just with vinegar, and I rubbed that for, I don't know, five or ten minutes, I guess. I don't like using the vinegar because it it, it sticks to that material real bad. <coughs> me. But you you can see I, I did this little strip right through here, and you can see it's definitely lightened it up. And again, that was just with that pencil eraser and vinegar. But now I'm going to go back at it the way I was doing, and uh, just use just a little bit of transmission fluid. It, it lubricates that that metal and those bad spots 
And again, with, with vinegar, you know, you're smelling that constantly while you're sitting here working, so that wasn't great. But anyway, I'm going to just run this back a little bit, just to keep from running off the blade. Go ahead and let this start soaking back here. Again, transmission fluid, and I'm going to do just this strip with the pencil eraser again, and we'll see what happens. And again, not the same direction all the time. What you're trying to do is just clean it up and, and smooth out all the the bad spots and then you'll get down to the the best part of the blade and it'll it'll look a lot better. You won't have all the scratches in it. You see there somebody got into it pretty heavy with something it looks like. It's not it's not real quick. It's gonna take a little while to to do it if you try doing it, but I I like the results. You've got the time to to get into it and do it. Anyway, you can you can still even with the oil on there you can still feel that that eraser is cutting that material off of there. Again, yeah, keep changing up your direction, crisscross it, go in circles. I'd kind of try to work in one area like I'm doing instead of the whole blade. You kind of get this area done and then move on and finish out the rest of it. Or a little bit of pitting I can see right there, but I think this eraser is going to take it out. Kind of a wax on, wax off kind of thing, if you understand that meaning. Patience and keep working at it, and it, it will remove it. And I'm going to finish up with this just a, here, here real quick. I mean, you can see that it's, it's smoothing it out, and it's removing the rust, cutting down into the rust and stuff. So just keep working it. And I, again, this is not real quick. It's it takes a quite a while to cut through. I think about what you're cutting through is rust and probably varnish and just all kinds of crud. Years and years and years of build up. But yeah, you can see that lightening up and pulling that material off of there. I say that's a good thing about a pencil eraser. You're not shedding steel wool everywhere. Okay, I'm going to do this for a few more minutes and then wipe it off and I'll get back to you. Okay, back to wrap up. I mean, for this part anyway. Call it quits for now. Uh, but that might give a, you might be able to see a little bit of the difference that it's making on there, but not a whole lot at this point. I spent about uh, with the ammonia and the transmission fluid probably 20 or 25 minutes working on this spot with just a pencil eraser uh, and it's, even if you can't see the difference you can feel it when you rub your finger across here now it just it's it, it's it's starting to get really smooth and then uh, back here of course you can really feel the the roughness but again, that, that stuff will come out if you want to spend the time and, and try to get it out as easily as, or as gently as possible without taking sandpapers and all that to it, which you could do. But anyway, that's not a lot done on that part. I've still got a lot more to continue on there, quite a bit, quite a bit more time. But I'm willing to put the time in, I guess, and see what I can come out with. And then, this this side here was, 
actually not the worst side. So I decided to do the other side first, which was the worst, and see if I could smooth it out and get it looking good. But here's what, I mean, as I flip that around, you can see the, and the, the light just glares off of it now. It's just, it's super smooth. You still have the, uh, the, the patina to it, but all the roughness is gone all the way down to the teeth. Uh, I've got a little strip right here that I still need to finish out on this side, and some more down on the tip here. But there's, and get that in the light better. And again, this part up here, the top, was actually the worst. And there is original. I mean, I, I did just a little bit there. But I decided to go, I'm going to go ahead and leave that for now, just so you can compare and if I can get the light off of it. There you go. But that's still real rough right there on that corner on that tip. But anyway, if you work at it, and again, that, that pitting, I, I had the pitting along here the same as on the other side. I still have some that I'm you never get out. If I can get to it and get done. But anyway, along this edge up here, there's a little bit right there. But you're never going to get all that out, so I just left that. There's some more there. But for the most part, it it will come out, and polish up, and and smooth out, and be a good usable saw again. So that's what I'm hoping for. And again, down here, I've still got some more to do on the the tip of this side. But, you know, a lot of work, but that, that stuff it will come off. And I'm curious to see what it's going to turn out like when it's done. I'll shoot another video then and show you this side of it once it's finished. Lots of work to be done though. But again, that's therapy for me. So, there you go.